Hey there, my friend, Tommy G here, and welcome to the presentation of the three secrets to Facebook marketing that will deliver over 100 leads, even if you've never used Facebook before. Now, why can I make such a bold claim? Because the same secrets I'm about to reveal for you are the same ones that we use for each phase of our profitable Facebook marketing, all right? And you can use this for Google marketing, YouTube, any other platform, right? But if you follow these four phases, you're going to be happy with your profitable advertising. And the number one phase is just getting leads, all right? The first thing that you should be doing with your advertising is looking for is that is your offer resonating, right? Second phase is to see is it resonating with enough people to have consistent lead flow, right? If you're done with these two phases, now you're looking good because in phase three, you're looking to establish a control meaning that this audience that you're advertising to is ready, able, and willing to buy something from you, meaning that your cost of acquisition is lower than your lifetime value, all right? Now, the last phase, once you've done that, now your only goal is to beat that control. So if you have a proven offer that is scalable, profitable, and winning new clients, you wanna see if you could perhaps lower that cost of acquisition. So I don't know where you're at at the time of watching this video, you know, you might be struggling to get a control, all right? These three secrets that I'm gonna go over could be the thing that tips your marketing in the direction to lower your cost of acquisition, or maybe you're just getting started about not sure even how to start getting leads. It doesn't matter. If you follow these three secrets to Facebook marketing, you will be able to start getting a steady flow of leads using Facebook or any other platform that you wanna adapt this to. We're going to use Facebook because it's the highest and best use for your face for your social media advertising because it's the biggest platform. So let's go ahead and dive into secret number one. Secret number one is location, location, location based targeting. Yes, the same thing that's traditionally worked for years offline is the same thing when it comes to social media marketing. You can see here how this is a, a snapshot of the Facebook dashboard whenever you're going to set up your advertisement. Now, what you're gonna notice here is that Facebook defaults, right, to a certain geographic area of your, uh, wherever you're located at, right? You have some kind of default, depending on how, you, if you set up your business manager the right way. But the thing is, your customer base isn't all over, right? The majority of your buyers are gonna be in a specific targeted area for typical small businesses. Now, since Facebook defaults to this massive zone, you're gonna wanna adjust it. If you don't, then you're gonna be wasting money like other business, bigger businesses like Sonic and Geico, for example. These are two totally different companies, but you can see their marketing, at least where we're at, all over the place. And what they use is the vanilla ice cream type marketing, meaning, Everybody likes vanilla ice cream. Let's just blanket everybody with advertising. Now, that's great if you have really deep pockets, but if you don't and you want to be very diligent with your money, you want to get very targeted with your advertising, right? Think you want to target people that like pistachio ice cream, right? If you could find people that like pistachio ice cream you, and you can... Uh, position yourself in front of them, you are gonna get a much better return on your investment than trying to blanket everybody because not everybody likes that, right? We'll get into that a little bit more later. So, your dollars get wasted on the can't be my customers, all right? And so that's why it's, you spend your time, your time gets wasted with these responses that are too far away or don't match with what it is that you're trying to offer people, okay? So your targeting is very, very important. By zoning your location, it stops 90% of the budget going to waste, meaning if you can hyper-target the right audience that you know will resonate with your offer, you're gonna drastically improve your advertising cost. All right, so let's give an example, a real case study here. So if I was a small local business and I was opening up shop in Foley, Alabama, right? I would look around and see, all right, how could I get more people aware of my new business or get more people in the door? Well, I would know that there's a Foley Tanger Outlets, right? This is a huge outdoor shopping mall. I'm using a, a location that's close to me. So just think of like a, a, big, a big area where you know that there's lots of foot traffic daily, right? Well, you can geographically target, like I've done here, 
within a one mile radius of everybody that's in this spot. So that if you know that there's a high flow of traffic and let's say that even you're within a, uh, you're a lunch place that's right close to this big mall and you know people are gonna be hungry, think about being able to target ideally in a focused zone, a serviceable zone, or like within a 20 minute drive because people have been shown that 15 to 20 minutes are what they're willing to drive to a certain type of either service or product based service, all right? Mark Zuckerberg won't like it that you're adjusting your targeting so that you get the best ROI on your dollar, but it's okay. You're only out looking for yourself. You want butt in the seat customers or patients in the door, and this is how you can help reduce wasted advertising by getting more specific on your targeting. So secret number two is that now that we have this audience targeted and is looking good, we wanna make sure that we can get their attention. And so the secret number two is thumb stopping attention, getting click worthy act now offer. All right. So 90% of small businesses, business owners will typically say Facebook ads don't work. We've tried it and we didn't get a response. Well, what they're really trying to say is the way that we've done it in the past hasn't worked, right? Because there is no way you could deny that money is being made hand over fist on Facebook and different social platforms, all right? And so the fact is that you probably just weren't doing it the right way and you weren't following a certain formula. And that's why I wanna give you here, it's kind of an outline that you can use for your advertising, right? So if you're not getting attention with your photo, right, or your video, then people aren't gonna stop their day. They're not gonna stop their scroll to see what it is. You can see the picture here. It's, it's black and white, dull, not very, you know, there's nothing really enticing about this type of advertising, okay? And you need to have your offer something of worthy to click on, all right? And if you know your audience and you're targeting the right person, you're gonna know exactly what it is that they're gonna stop for. And to do that, you wanna build your Facebook ads on six core steps. Now, each step is for a specific reason, and I'm gonna go over them in a second. And if you follow these six steps, you will get results. And if you do not follow these six steps, you will not see results with your Facebook advertising and be sure, basically throwing money down the drain. So pay attention and follow these six steps. So the very first thing you want when you're going to design your ad is that you want to be able to call out your audience. Step number two, you want to call out their desire, okay? Number three, you want to give them a worthy offer, something that they can get excited about. Number three, you need urgency in your action, okay? Number four, or excuse me, number five, you want a clear, focused photo, all right? And number six, you want a repeatable, worthy offer. So if we kind of look at this, you can see where we're calling out the ideal fan, Guy Harvey. We're giving them, <clears throat> calling out a desire, meaning that they can get a free t-shirt. It's a worthy offer, meaning not only do you get a free t-shirt, you can see that in the, in the uh, image there, but you're also going to get a magazine subscription. And if you went even farther on here, we have urgency on it about the limited availability and how their donation also serves a greater good. So if you can enroll people into a bigger vision that shows them not only do they get what they want, but they can be helping other people, they're gonna be more likely to act. Uh, the, the photo is clear and obvious what it is that they're getting. They get an example of the product that they're gonna get. And people know that this t-shirt is very highly valuable to this niche offer. And we show them again what it is that they're getting and how to do it. And you can see there, in the comment sections, uh, 750 likes, 88 comments, 177 shares, and we've gotten tons more than that since this thing's been running uh, for, a for a very long time. Okay, let's give some more examples. Again, Easy Golf Company, uh, clear, clearly calling out the audience for people that are struggling with their golf, uh, a very compelling a vid a focus photo that has something that calls them out if you're a golfer and you see this you're curious about what this goofy looking you know club head looks like curiosity and interest those are the things that drive clicks again here we have a special event that we did called it out exactly using the six steps if you're in real estate look same exact thing six key steps this was producing buyer and seller leads you know like clockwork and then even if you're in the medical field there is all kinds of ways that you can be driving 
more clients and patients in your door by calling them out, giving them something worthy, and repeating it with a clearly focused image, okay? So now that we've been able to target our right audience, we've been able to dial in the structure of our advertisement, the big question is now, where do we need to place them? And that's the secret to number three. Place placements where they're supposed to be placed, all right? So what this means is that when it comes to Facebook advertising specifically, you have options for where you wanna display this advertisement, all right? Now traditionally, in the you know dinosaur days, you were able to use billboards, TVs, radio, magazines, right? Well, it's a new world, it's a new landscape of marketing for your business. No longer do you need to put big billboards or TVs or magazines with bloated cost and not really be able to track what it is that's happening. You can dial in and put a specific offer right in the palm of your ideal patient's, ideal customer's hand, right? But if you look here on the right, you see that there's all kinds of options. And Facebook is gonna have you say, you know, go ahead, and you know use all of them right because they want to run your ad everywhere because that pays them the most amount of money but we want our ad to run lean and profitable all right we want to get the most results with the least amount of effort and there's only one of these options that drives leads results and actionable customers for brick and mortar businesses okay so which one would you choose out of here don't worry we're going to go through each one i'm going to show you the best one that you should be using so number one, Messenger. This one's a little too early to know for sure. It's been sh showing to be a very viable option, but there's just too, it's too early to say. This next one, the audience network, audience network is pretty much everywhere but Facebook, okay? Instagram stories is kind of like thinking Snapchat. This has grown in popularity, but still not the ideal source. Instagram feed is if you have good visually compelling content, this might be an option, but still it's not going to be nearly as profitable as our number one choice. If you're not e-commerce, completely ignore the marketplace. The right column, pretty much everybody ignores, including yourself. In-stream videos is the first five seconds in a five, it's five seconds in a Facebook Live. It's actually very distracting um, and it's not very profitable. Instant articles is, think of it as advertising inside a New York Times type article. It might sound good, but it's really not that profitable. The number one spot is, and the only spot that you should be using consistently for your small business is the news feed section of Facebook. Ignore everything else, and if you stick with news feeds, you're gonna see results in your marketing, better results. So let's recap here. What we've talked about is secret number one with your advertising is targeting your ideal audience. And that's all about location, location, location-based targeting. Don't let Facebook's defaults and their you know little messages that they say about boosting 10% here, you might reach 20% more people if you do that. Ignore all that stuff and make sure that you're targeting your serviceable zone, people that are in an area that they're most likely to come you know, into your doors or put their butt in their seat. Put their butt in your seats, okay? Number two is thumb stopping, attention getting, click worthy, act now offer, all right? You're gonna have to, people are distracted constantly, so you need to jar them with a compelling ad that follows those six steps that we talked about. If you do this, then 90% of the Facebook ads that don't hit their goal will, will start getting better results by using it. And it's great to have a, a human-focused photo. Some of the best ones are simply a smiling face, all right? And then use those six steps for the ad, ad success. And number three, after we've targeted the right people, we have the right offer, we want to put it in the right place to, to reach the most amount of people. And that's where <clears throat> we want to ignore Facebook that wants to spend our money fast, all right, and we want to run our ad where it gets the most amount of leads for the least amount of efforts, and that is with the news feeds for the best results, okay? So that is the three secrets to Facebook marketing that will deliver 100 leads, even if you've never used Facebook before, it's by reducing your cost of targeting, we're getting more conversions by the message that you write, and placing it in front of the ideal prospect. But wait, before you start throwing your money at those Facebook ads, let me ask you this. Is your website infrastructure built to, for maximum revenue with minimum ad spend? 
If you tune into our next presentation, we're going to let you know about the 30,000 visitor accident and how to protect your advertising investment. So don't miss.